Welcome back. As Congress declared in 1971, wild mustangs are living symbols of the historic and pioneer spirit of the West. But overpopulation and competition for food and water threatens their way of life. Finding good homes for them is one way to keep their population in check. Jeannie Ryan shows us how an old guard soldier is helping in that effort. The horses of the Quezon platoon lead fallen service members to their final resting place at Arlington National Cemetery. It's a mission they perform some 1,600 times a year. And like the soldiers they serve with, it takes dedication and discipline. The horse has to have a knack for being able to stand still and being able to deal with a lot of things. His, uh, he has to have more of a fight pattern than a flight pattern, so to speak. Lonesome and Wyatt are unique as the only two Mustangs in the platoon. The spirited horses are now gentle enough to be a part of the Quezon team. 25, 25, 25, 25. Soldiers like to show off the former wild horses at Mustang adoptions. This was a real bargain. These events find permanent homes for Mustangs of the western rangelands, protecting them from competing for limited food and water in the wild. If we can get the horse the right size, they're a really solid horse and it's a good program. It's good, uh, good advertisement for the Mustang, for the uh, Mustang and Burrow Associations and everything. Generally, the Mustangs available for adoption are about 14 hands tall. A hand is four inches. To qualify for the Quezon team, the Mustang has to be 15.2 hands or higher, saddle broke, and have some sense about it. Horse sense, that is. But despite all the training with cannons, guns, and crowds, the horses can still spook. The worst thing in the cemetery is a bag. Any type of bag, whether it be a paper bag or a plastic bag, a Walmart bag, wafting through the air. Your wagon will look like a Z when you're done. They absolutely hate bags. A horse will spend a decade with the Quezon platoon before finally retiring to another military organization. Jeannie Ryan, Washington.